If you got a steering wheel you need replaced on a 2018 uh, Freightliner, it's pretty easy stuff. Uh, DOT doesn't like gashes, especially if they're all the way down to the metal. But replacing these isn't all that uh, isn't all that hard. You can uh, start by popping up here if you want to, or just reaching down on the bottom and grabbing the whole thing up. Just pull all the way up, and I believe there's four points in there. There are a couple extra if you can see that right here. They kind of retain. They don't really retain it, but they they don't allow it to flop all over the place. They're these little extra tabs. I'm not sure what they're called. Pop this. Pop it up. Pop up. Pop up. There are four spots. There's uh, one, two, three, four. As you can see, I've already popped this one up. And then you've got the two contact points for the horn that are up here. Just pop those up. If you get them mismatched on the way back in, it doesn't really matter too much. Just making contact is what makes them honk honk. And then you've got these two right here, which are connected together. And there is a hole right there. You can put a paper clip or a pen or whatever, or you can just yank as long as you make sure to have good grip on both sides of this. These are, they're pretty light to come apart. You don't really have to force them a lot. Once you've got it apart, you've got some stuff sticking from here. That goes to uh, the clock spring down inside there. Now this size right here, I believe is one and what is it? Let's see, I've got it here. One and three sixteenths. It doesn't fit perfect, but it does fit well enough and it's not gonna eat away at the nut in there. So almost fine. And then you can go ahead and pop that out. What I recommend doing is taking a marker or a pen of some sort, or maybe even a, well, a grease pen, it's kind of big, they usually won't work, but the teeth match up a tooth right there and then draw a line matching the tooth up here into the middle into that shaft there so when you put the new one on you can then look and see what tooth it is it's kind of hard to get it on the right exact right tooth on the steering wheel so if you count over from a certain amount or you can make a score mark on here you'll have to compare it to the new steering wheel to get it totally perfect the best way to get this out is to just pound on either side pound from the back right there then the other side just pop 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 and it'll pop out be careful not to rip these out when you're yanking you want to push them through with one finger while you're holding the steering wheel with the other hand. Yeah, we got it off. Now we can install the new one. But if you want to, you can take your time and dust off the clock spring here. I wouldn't recommend dusting in towards the center or even towards the outside. Just kind of dust around with a rag and just get all the get all the junk off. You don't have to worry about aligning the clock spring so much because this will fit perfectly just inside the brand new one when you pop that on. So you don't really have to worry about, oh, did this shift or didn't that? Because that does go around the shaft and the shaft's not moving. There we go, we've got the new one on and you just kind of pound side to side, like one, two, one, two, and it'll go down a little bit. You don't have to really reef too hard down on it or put all your pressure on it. Cause the nut, when we put it back down on there, that will tighten it up against it. We got it back on and I'm not going to reference the torque specs right here because I do not want to be held liable for being wrong. But then we just basically put uh, the, the cap back on, uh, put these back in, attach that, get these up to the horn spring and that's it. That's the replacement. That's it. And of course, give it a victory hunk. Good to go.